Hi, um, I want to talk about love according to First John today because I feel like this idea of walking in love is something that often gets abused by people who maybe they don't have the best intentions. Um, and the way John describes love is that it's us being in agreement with God's testimony concerning his son. So, um, Christ died for the sins of the whole world and we love people in the world, for example, by agreeing that, okay, Christ died for their sins too and the will of the Father is that everybody would come to repentance and nobody would perish. Um, or, for example, in the body of Christ, okay, this person has the testimony, they say they believe that Christ died for all our sins, was buried and rose again in the third day according to the scriptures. Um, by their testimony, I recognize this person as being one of my siblings and a glorified saint in the body of Christ. But that doesn't mean that you have to force yourself to have this um, feelings that we people associate with love. Um, Somebody might be really unlikable and you still love them according to 1st John if you're like, okay, Christ died for their sins too, um, they have the testimony, or um, Christ died, I, I, for example, I um, let's say I really don't like this person, but Christ died for their sins and the Father's will is that this person would come to repentance. I don't have to actually like them, I just have to agree with the um, with God's record concerning his son and um, if they have the testimony I have to accept that they're a sibling but I don't actually have to force myself to have this really warm emotion towards them and of course when you're in a fellowship this emotion come um, while you fellowship with somebody but you don't have to feel like you have to force yourself to love people or even like them, you just have to agree with God's testimony. Um, and that's like the very basic level, that's the, that's the foundation on which we're building. And as we fellowship with people, we discover different types of love um, inside of us as fruits of the Holy Spirit that we and so certain attachments we have had for people that we fellowship with but the very foundation of love is believing that okay Christ died for their sins and they believe so they're my sibling or they don't believe but God wants them to come to repentance um, this is how God loves the world and this is how um, he wants us to love the world um, I feel like sometimes this walking in love thing gets abused by people who, have, who don't have the best intention because for example you want to correct somebody um, for their doctrine uh, maybe their doctrine is not particularly Christ focused and um, maybe their doctrine is putting burdens on people and it's hurting the body of Christ and you try to correct them in love by pointing them back to Christ you point them back to what we had in the beginning which is the gospel um, and sometimes people say oh no don't correct me you have to walk in love towards me um, I w it's it's a secondary issue it might be hurting people but it's a secondary issue you have to walk in love towards me you don't have to accept it if somebody is hurting you you only have to be in agreement with God that okay maybe they have the testimony they're a sibling but they're causing harm to me personally as a believer they're maybe they're being toxic and abusive this can happen too um, back in John's days there were people in the church who didn't have the testimony although they acted like they were brothers and John said don't fellowship with these people don't even pray with them um, we as Christians were, were not part of the world, but we are in the world. And the world hates us because they hated Christ first. And 
yes we have his protection and he's watching over us and he's planning our every step but we should also um we should guard our hearts and our crowns um we should look after each other we should um we should make sure that nothing that is anything but christ is circulating because only christ edifies um we should be ready to call out teaching that is hurting um the body of christ and those are all things that somebody who is preaching for walking in love would disagree with they would say oh no if if they believe the gospel we have to be loving to ourselves and i have to say it once again i am being loving towards them um because i accept that christ died for their sins and if they have the testimony they're a brother but me as a believer i don't have to accept the teaching that it's causing me harm or that it's not edifying me or a teaching where i don't recognize christ um so this is mostly what i wanted to talk about um so, so to summarize you are already walking in love if you are in agreement with god's record concerning his son and you believe that everybody who's in agreement is a brother and if they're not you know that christ died for their sins but if somebody is harming you 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 are you're actually encouraged in the bible to distance yourself from them um in extreme cases with this antichrist type of people who are saying that christ has not come in the flesh and they're trying to point you to the law for salvation or to believing some weird doctrine they came up with um those people are antichrist and we are not to fellowship with them because they're extremely damaging to the body and we are not even to pray for them or say godspeed to them um I know that in Western countries we have this image that the church is safe because we're not being outwardly persecuted by the world, kind of how it happens in um, countries that are outwardly against Christianity. But th the enemy has its ways to hurt Christians that think they're in a safe environment, and if he's not, if he cannot physically persecute us, he's going to persecute us with doctrine. Um, hurtful doctrine that is not Christ and that hurtful doctrine where you have no life um, so yeah I think this is all I wanted to say thanks for watching